All right, we've come into the inner sanctum here. We're in the back where all the great books and antiques are. Max, yeah. this, this is mind-blowing, yeah. the stuff you have Thank you. here. In my previous career, I was in the oil business. I traveled around a lot, and I could, hard, I could never drive by a bookshop or an antique shop without checking it out. So anything caught my eye, uh, you know, eclectic. It didn't have to be in certain certain group, but uh, if I liked the look of it, um, I would pick it up if it was the right price. Tell me about this lamp. Um, I found this in uh, Lebanon, Tennessee a few years back. Now this was uh, after Napoleon was defeated in Moscow and retreating from Moscow. So the, of course, uh, there's a lamp and the red light is Moscow burning and the troops retreating. This lamp is actually in the book from the Paris exhibitions. Yeah, it's bronzes. Bronzes, yes. So this dates back to sometime in the early 1900s. Early 1900s at the Paris exhibition, and this was this was made and presented at that exhibition. So these are fascinating characters. Uh, there was a, a lady in Atlanta, Georgia, that I ran into. Her husband had collected those all all his life, and he, he passed away. And I was able to get the whole collection from her. They date from about 1890 to about 1924. Now these had an interesting use other than being specifically for art. Well, they did. Um, at the turn of the century, they would actually, uh, they found several shipments where they actually had opium inside. So <laughs> they're hollow and they would put the opium in and then seal the bottom, the bottom part. And they, but they finally got caught. But uh, how long that went on, uh, who knows. See this, Greg? Looks like books. Yeah. So you can keep your... Emergency supplies. Yeah, in there. so that'd be uh, Empire period, 1820. Uh, this is a uh, astronomical globe. It's pretty typical to find these older globes in uh, of the Earth, but not of the uh, of the heavens and the stars uh, solar system. Uh, I purchased that in in London in 1971. Uh, so October. How do you line this thing up to figure out what constellations are where? Uh, good question. <laughs> <laughs> With his wide array of curiosities, interesting antiques, cool bookends, not to mention shelves and shelves of incredible books, this looks like the kind of place that's pretty dangerous for me.